Pippa sent this one in earlier on. Uh, she says, as someone with familial hypercholesterolemia, I'm staring down the barrel of statins, having been told that diet will play only a very small part in cholesterol levels. I've been taking plant sterols a gram a day, as well as omega oils and turmeric with curcumin, uh, but I haven't seen any real decrease in cholesterol levels, 8.8 .8 at the last check. I do 10,000 steps every day as well as on the, ex as well on the exercise front and obviously try to eat healthily also. What else could uh, people like her do to reduce their cholesterol levels? Well, uh, well, uh, um, well, you can take a statin. Um, <laughs> that'll reduce it. Uh, or you could take one of the new injectable um, PCSK9 inhibitors. That'll reduce it even more. Or what you could say is what I would say to you is stop worrying about it. Familial hypercholesterolemia. Tell us a bit about that, though, because um, yeah. it is singled out, I think, as a group who are prone to cardiovascular disease, isn't it? Yeah, it is singled out. It's singled out due to, you know, so I hate to go back and all the research is rubbish. Um, I've written a couple of papers on this, and um, the, study, the, the study where this comes from is obviously originally was Goldstein and Brown looking at the, there's a thing called an LDL receptor. Yes. Sits on all your cells, millions of them in your liver and they pull LDL out of the bloodstream. Um, LDL is what your low density lipoprotein is what people are talking about when they're talking about cholesterol in reality. So although it's called familiar hypercholesterolemia, it's actually familiar LDLemia. Um, the terminology is terribly stupid and confusing. But basically it's a genetic population. It's a genetic you population. population. About one in 500 people have the heterozygous form of this. So there's different forms of it. About one in a million people have homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia and their cholesterol levels are like 40 and stuff. It's like, and they die young of heart disease. It's like, ah, prove it. Like, Hold on. Um, but in the UK, they've got a thing called the Simon Broom Registry where they've looked at people with familial hypercholesterolemia and monitored them over years and years to see what happened. Now, there is a small group uh, of people who died young of cardiovascular disease with familiar hypercholesterolemia. I think the total number out of their thousands was, is eight. So we're talking minute numbers here. What they also found was that after the age of 50, if you have FH, you live longer and you are less likely to get heart disease. 